Hello everyone, welcome to Basket News Talks. Uh, I'm the host Donato Surbanas. We're here in Hilton Garden Hill uh, in Vilnius city center. And we have a guest who doesn't need any further uh, explanation, Vasilis Panoulis. Thanks for uh, having time for this interview. Thank you, Donatas. My pleasure. Vasilis, we're talking with six official games into the season, Peristeris 4-2. And I was thinking, if Duda Ivkovic and Jelko Bradovic was watching these games, what do you think what they would have said about you if they were, let's say, mentoring through your first head coaching experience? Uh, for sure. Uh, my opinion is that uh, uh, they will like what they see and they will be proud of, first of all, because I, I love the game of basketball. I'm passionate and I, I do it uh, with great motivation, something that is uh, three keys also for them for uh, in, uh, in all their life, uh, in basketball and out of basketball. Uh, it, there was this interesting moment that n- not many greatest level players started coaching, for example. And I've just uh, watched Michael Jordan interview where he was asked why he never went into coaching. I have no patience for coaching. You know, my biggest problem from a competitive standpoint is the focus of today's athlete and the focus of how I pursued the game. And it's totally different for me to ask an individual to focus on the game the way I played the game in some ways would be unfair for that kid to have to endure that. And if he didn't do it, no telling where my emotions would be. And he said that uh, he had this standard for himself of focus, preparation, uh, mentally to be ready in all these games at the top level. And when he, he thought about today's athletes, he thought that it might not match today's athletes and he might get disappointed. And that's why he didn't even want to start with it. Do you have to handle it? I mean, different mentality, uh, different athletes in, in today's basketball. And how do you handle, you know, to, to be happy, to find the satisfaction? I can, I can understand uh, Michael Jordan mm. because he's the greatest, from my point of view, the greatest ever in history of uh, basketball. And everybody can understand him. Uh, from my opinion, you know, it's a challenge for me to motivate uh, this uh, generation and uh, these players to, to change their attitude and their uh, their uh, philosophy about uh, the game of basketball. And uh, for me, this is very important. Uh, if I put myself uh, over than them, uh, it's better to don't do this job. And uh, for for myself, the the most important is to to show patience and to to show to this to these uh, players, younger and more experienced, uh, the, the way and the, the path uh, for the success. I remember Yorgos Borsokas uh, told just recently that one of the best things that can happen to the head coach that he gets fired. It's also part of losing. And uh, usually we also improve the most when we are losing. What do you remember? What was the most significant loss for you that it took the best out of that situation to go forward? First of all, you know, I don't believe that you, you, you need to get fired, you know, <laughs> to, to, to understand. That's radical. Yeah, to understand a lot of things. But uh, I respect uh, uh, Coach Barjokas. And, uh, but I, my opinion is that the most important thing is to be, to be patient, to, to have the, the mental strength to, to handle the difficult situations. So if you get fired, you get fired. But, you know, I don't believe that you need to get fired to to become a good coach. You know, the most important is that uh, to become a good coach, you you need to to work really hard to to, to know to handle the good and bad situations and uh, to have a very 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 strong stomach. When you have had your first team huddle, team practice, what what was your speech about? What did you say to the team meeting them all together for the first time? Motivation, blessing that we play basketball, willingness to sacrifice for the good of the team, and uh, hard work pays off. If, if a player joins Peristere, for example, what's the first number one rule of Vasilis Panoulis in practices and games and in general philosophy of yours? To be dedicated to basketball, uh, to be focused, to have the willingness to work and to improve and uh, 
to believe then in a, in, a, in our organization that we are a winning, we want to be a winning organization. This is very important because to be a winning organization, you have to know also uh, to lose because lose is part of our of, of the game and also in our life. And, and most important, how we handle this situation. And what kind of idea you saw, you know, making your first signings, you know, setting the tone for the team character? Of, uh, idea is to, to, have a, to have a mix of experience in young guys and uh, to, to try to play on a different uh, tempo in, uh, in one game, to play also to have players that they can play set offense and at the same time to have players that they can, they can play more quick, more modern basketball more quick hitters, more transition. So uh, I try to have both options to, to be ready for, uh, for every situation. And the uh, number one for me was character of the players. It's very important to have good characters because you will have, we will have difficult moments and the character of the players and, uh, and uh, the atmosphere in the, in the locker room is very important to, to pass through these situations. And second is work ethic and uh, motivation. And the third order is uh, talent, individual talent. As a representative of the new coaching uh, generation, what, do you, what new things you want to bring into coaching? We, we tend to use from our own mistakes or from somebody else's mistakes. What would you like to erase from the previous coaching era and you know, to change something? You know, basketball change now. Basketball change and you have to, to play in a, in a more quick uh, uh, tempo in the game. Uh, I think... Uh, it's important to to let the players express themselves a lot of times. Uh, years before, you know, we coaches used and this was very successful and very um, very correct to to have bigger bigger impact to to the players to the game uh, and uh, you know to everything to be like they want. Now you know with the with the tempo of the game and how basketball is going so fast and you know sometimes you need to just to put the rules and uh, to let the, the players ex express themselves you know uh, this interesting this is the interesting uh, topic because when we thought about these greatest coaches in europe like uh, Jelko or some other coaches you mentioned they made a huge impact on players on the way they controlled the game and i had this question about the nba since the nba is the players league what do you think in general uh, let's say of the idea of coaching NBA, I mean, you know, if we set some uh, goals for the, uh, ourselves, players, they dream to play NBA. I don't know about uh, coaching whole, uh, goals here in Europe, uh, but I believe that, you know, it could be a nice milestone, milestone for any European coach to finally break through and to make a successful career here in the NBA. If, having this picture, what do you think about yourself coaching in NBA in this new environment? With three best of NBA players being Europeans, yes. basically. Yes, that's true. Uh, Look, this is, uh, this is something that uh, for now on, you know, cannot be in my mind because I'm so fresh in coaching, but uh, for sure, like, it's very, very nice to see European coaches to go to the NBA. And uh, my opinion is that uh, we have to understand that this is another world there. And uh, if I tell uh, that Europe, uh, you know, you see basketball chains and players, they play more with their instinct and their talent and you cannot a lot of times uh, have some big big impact like all the years so in NBA this is 10 times more you know you need to choose for me the most important is to to find the right chemistry to find the right players and uh, you know there after it's, uh, it's individual talent and uh, uh, more one against one more instinct and uh, less impact in the game for, from the coaches, but more impact uh, outside of the game, let's say, on their uh, personality, on their uh, work ethic, on inspiration, on uh, chemistry of the team, on these things, coach is more important, I think. Mm. Because when I thought about Yanis or Luca, for example, I was just thinking, can these European stars help European coaches actually to con come to the NBA? For example, if you have Yanis as your star player, for example, you know, he would help you, you know, to implement into the NBA environment. You know, you have the player, the franchise player who is you now setting the tone for the rest of the team and maybe helping the European coach. Could it be the, the new bridge for, for Europeans? For sure, for sure. It's something that can happen in the, in the future. You know, uh, first of all, we are very proud that we have Yanis, one of the best players, maybe the best players, the best player with uh, 
look at the Jokic in, uh, in the NBA right now, you know, okay, we don't put out Steph Curry, Kevin Durant uh, and all the other superstars, but we are proud that the Europeans uh, are franchise players and they lead their teams in the NBA. So maybe in the future, this, can, this could be a bridge to more European coaches go there. I remember that everybody said that you just talk, talk, talk about basketball. You think about basketball when you're sleeping. And I was just thinking, if you had this chance to have a dinner with anybody you want from basketball world, even dead or alive, for a good dinner, for a basketball conversation, for some, I don't know, coaching tips, uh, game reading situations, who would be that person you would be very interested to talk, to share some thoughts, to have a discussion? It's my hero and my idol when I was young, Michael Jordan. Mm. Is there anything specific uh, what you would like to ask him? No, just to have a conversation with him. <laughs> One of the questions coming from Basket News uh, Plus community, and he just wanted to hear your thoughts about uh, best clutch player uh, ever who played in the EuroLeague, excluding you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many big players, I don't know. I'm not good to answer this uh, question for one player because there are so many good players and it's coming to me, so, so I will be, I will not be fair to some other. Okay, this was uh, Vasilis Panoulis, one of the heroes of our European basketball, and thanks a lot for being Thank you, Donatas. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, and follow us on basketnews.com.